Welcome to our operator tips videos. In this episode, I'd like to talk a little bit more about our cat production measurement system, or CPM. So let's hop up in the machine and take a closer look. Okay, so now that we're in the machine, the first thing that we want to do is in order to enable the CPM, we want to push this little truck bed symbol over on the left center side of the screen. Now when we press that symbol, that'll bring up our production measurement or CPM system. So with this, it gives you a little bit of information, but the key thing is it tells you how much you've loaded into a truck and what the current weight of the bucket is. Now I have a little bit of a down pressure, so it's negative, but if I raise that bucket up a little bit, you can see it'll go ahead and go right back to zero. All right, so as an operator tip, the one thing that you wanna do is make sure that you get the bucket fully racked back before you raise it up. And then when we're raising it up, as it's going through that weigh range, when that little scale symbol pops up, that's when we really don't wanna change the speed of the lift arm. So when you see that little scale, do not slow down or do not speed up your engine RPM because by changing the speed of the linkage, you can actually impact the accuracy of that weight. Once you exit the scale system, then that's where you get the little green box around the weight. And then that is your official uh, weight on the CPM system. Now, as you dump that, then the, that would go ahead and transition from the bucket weight into the truck bed. And as you can see above the truck bed right here, I have a little one. And that gives me a, an indication that I've made one pass so far. But obviously, because I have an empty bucket, there's no weight in the system. All right, so let's assume that we've already made our three passes and we loaded the truck. And uh, now we want to go ahead and print off a ticket or store that payload system or the amount of material that we have in that truck. The store button is actually located right here on the display. So if you go ahead and press that store button, what that'll do is it'll go ahead and store that truck, as you can see, it goes back to zero passes, zero weight, and it prints off a, a little ticket here if you do have the optional printer included with that CPM system. The other advantage of the CPM system is that we do have a couple of nice features built into this system, which allows the operator to tip off either at the pile or at the truck. Now again, what that tip-off feature allows you to do is if you're doing a kind of load and carry application, carrying material from a bunker to the truck, you can ensure that you have the proper amount of material inside the bucket before you even leave. That way you can ensure that you can do that in only one pass. Additionally, if you do grab too much material, you can tip off at the truck and essentially meter in the material in, in order to ensure that you get the accurate amount of material for that truck into the, the back of that truck for that customer. And then again, once you're done with that material, you can go ahead and press that store button and print off a ticket and then hand that to the operator. If you do have a truck that you want to set a target, as you can see right here, I do have a target of 20 tons. You can easily change that target by pressing that little asterisk, typing in 16 ton maybe, and then as you can see, you can change the target that way. So that's a quick overview of the CPM system. For more information on these features or others, please visit your local CAT dealer. Thank you and have a good day.